Good morning. This morning I'm I'm uh, I'm coming to you a little bit late because I um, slept. I was up in the middle of the night, so I slept late this morning, and um, I just really wanted to be sure I had my meditation before I got on camera. So this morning, my hi Maria, welcome. This morning, I would like to talk a little bit about, how do I say this, uh, observing the mind and what we do with our thoughts when we're alone. So I pulled the card this morning of what is traditionally called the hermit or the crone or the wise one in the, in the tra in a traditional tarot deck. So this is a major arcana card that represents, hey Susan, see you soon. Uh, this, this is a card that represents uh, the wise elder who is holding the light of guidance for those following them. It often also represents some, the, the, the crone, the wise elder who stands at the crossroads so when we're, when we're going through life and we get to a crossroads and we have to make a big choice, there's um, in, in old, I think it's Celtic tradition, there would be this like a little figurine like the, the goddess of the crossroads, so to speak. Now in this, so in this deck that I've been using for a while now, it's called Aloneness. And here's this uh, look, you know, wise looking monk like elder uh, walking alone on a through a grassy hill toward a glowing light in the distance. So again, I want to use this time today to talk about how we use our thoughts and what we notice in our thoughts when we are alone. In other words, the ruminating mind when we are alone. So. Let me just, I, I want to do that thing where I catch the thread so that I get, come to this in a, a really direct and clear way. So give me a moment while I connect in here. When we are alone and only with the silent thoughts in our minds, what are we thinking? Have you ever stopped to notice what your thoughts are as you are cleaning your house, making your bed, making your meal, um, between tasks of work? Because our minds, when unmanaged, create chaos and go immediately to judgment or criticism or analysis or worry or planning for the future or reanalyzing the past. Now that is how an unmanaged or untrained mind behaves in the silent spaces of aloneness when no one is watching. So is it possible for you to watch your thoughts when you're alone? And when you, d it is possible, are you willing? I guess is the question. Hey Sa, good morning. And when you do observe your thoughts, in the silent spaces of your aloneness, what do you find there? Because as I said, we have been trained uh, to develop highly, um, highly hyperactive, uh, protective ego minds. And because we have, the silent spaces of aloneness are often filled with a lot of noise in the mind. And all of that noise is what creates the reality outside of us, uh, what shows up in our life as either obstacles or allies. So we've lived for a long, long time until this awakening and until these activations through the solar frequencies and the increasing resonance on Mother Earth. We have lived and been able to get away with keeping those thoughts those silent thoughts in our aloneness, keeping them secret. So we show up in the world as this nice, friendly person and everybody thinks we're nice maybe, or maybe we're not so nice, maybe we show up not so nice. But uh, 
we put up a front of who we are. We put up the mask of who we are when we want to be nice to people or we want people to think that we're nice, or we want people to like us, or we have to keep the peace at work or in the family. And what's happening is with the increasing frequencies on Earth and the frequencies of the sun, the, the solar rays coming, coming to us, is that we, uh, those secret thoughts in our minds are showing up as the reality in our life. We can't keep them secret anymore. So when we stand in judgment of others or we're wringing our hands over the anger and frustration we have over other people's behaviors in our life, uh, we, that shows up as more of the same. So I'll be very honest with you. I mean, I, this, I'm not sharing these, these teachings, these insights because I've got this shit down. I don't. <laughs> so I'll share with you how it went for me this morning. So this morning, you know, I woke up, I had an incredible series of dreams because I was awake and then I went back to sleep and I dreamt about an old dog I had a long time ago. And, and the dream was about loyalty because when I think about, you know, this dog that I loved, we loved our family, loved so much Chaco, I thought, well, what is the energy of Chaco? Loyalty, chocolate Labrador, loyalty, unconditional acceptance and love. And I was like, wow, what a blessing to wake up with that energy. How long can I hold this energy of unconditional love and acceptance for me, first of all, because I'm here alone, and for those in my life? And so then I had to go and start taking care of things in my house. And I'm having a guest later today, and so I wanted the house clean. And, I'm, and I started going around and being like, getting really into judgment about things, like the person who cleans here, Oh, I've got a gecko in the house. Uh-oh, uh he always says uh-oh to me. So uh-oh, I caught myself thinking negative thoughts. Judgments about what I'm paying for this place and that they don't keep it clean enough and judgments about other things and people's opinion and how much things, certain things cost, not so much here in Bali but elsewhere in my life. And I was like, wow, look at that, Dawn. Look at what you do in the silence of your mind, in your aloneness, when no one's watching, how easy it is to get into judgment and criticism. As you're cleaning the house going, I shouldn't be doing this. This is what I'm paying for, blah, blah, blah. It's like, wow, that is really something. So we are really at a time on the planet now where it's up to us to be, take responsibility and start cleaning up our thoughts like really cleaning up the poop thoughts that are between our, my, our, our, our ears here. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. It takes a lot of attention and intention at this time to really look at those silent thoughts going on constantly behind the scenes of our mind and own them and take responsibility, responsibility for changing them. So again, I ask, maybe I said it differently before, what are the thoughts going on silently in your mind when you are alone? And are they productive or are they, con are they destructive? Poop thoughts, that's right, poop thoughts. Ah, the poop thoughts. And it's really interesting when you're cleaning up like gecko poop, to go like and thinking like I've paid for someone else to do this why am I doing it well why because how many other poop thoughts do I need to start paying attention to <laughs> so I my invitation today is for you to notice what thoughts go on in your mind when you are alone are they luminous thoughts of gratitude for the opportunities ahead or this, the, the yummy things that have happened recently in your life, the connections, the friendships, the love, the health, the whatever, fill in the blank, or are they poop thoughts? <laughs> and just when you find the poop thoughts, and you will, be kind, be kind. And do something about it. Make a choice. Because as long as we don't bring awareness to those secret thoughts in our minds when we're alone, we don't have the power to change. 
But when we bring awareness on a consistent, disciplined basis, we can me begin to make a new choice and go, oh wow, look at that, more poop thoughts. Well, I'm gonna surrender that, I'm gonna offer that up to the Holy Spirit or my higher self or the Divine Mother and call in light and make a different choice about my thoughts. And it's a process, I've been doing this now for months and I know people who've done it for years. It's not like you get to just go, oh wow, poop thought, boom, gone. I'm, my, my mind is clear now. No, they go on. It's a discipline. It's a sacred discipline. And I promise you that when you start to clean up more of the poop on the inside, less of it shows up on the outside. And it's a discipline and a practice. So when you do catch yourself thinking those poop thoughts, well, just love yourself and say, I, I'm, I'm offering it up. Please transform my perception so I can see the truth. Please help me to see things in a, in the, through the eyes of love and offer up my poop thoughts and my judgments of others and judgments of myself and opinions and negative attitudes so that we may all be free and we may bring about through our own loving thoughts a world that really does show up as the world that is born through the eyes and the hearts of love. So with that, it's time for me to get going because I have a lovely friend to meet with today. So, okay, my dears, with much love until tomorrow, many blessings. Mwah. May you be free of poop thoughts. <laughs>